<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slasher, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. Why are we at, like, an angle? No idea. <laughs> nope. Wrong way. There we go. Anyways. So... We're back. We're back. Um, for those of you that have been wondering where we've been, we've taken two weeks off. Um, unintentionally. Unintentionally. So she has fibromyalgia and she ran out of meds. Um, the company that sends her her meds are basically, it's the one thing I don't like about them, is they try to send them almost on the day that she's supposed to need them. Which is... is more having to do with the insurance and controlled substances and they don't release right. new refills until three days before you are out right so when there's a mess up it uh, takes a long time to resolve it takes some time to resolve they sent it to the wrong place they sent it to her mom instead of here which is almost across the continental u.s right from us. so they made it to new mexico and then when her mom tried to just forward it back to us Without adding postage or anything like that, uh, New Mexico USPS hated that bot and stopped it to investigate. So yeah, and it took all of that and uh, actual, um, not clarification, but the insurance had to get proof that it had been stopped in New Mexico, and I never received it before they would write a new script and override. <laughs> The fact that I was not going to have to pay for it twice in one month. Um, and it took all of that to get a new new script. So that was about um, two weeks to the day that I ran out. And the reason why we've been gone this entire time, when she doesn't have her meds, um, what the meds do, she has fibromyalgia. And the meds stop the receptors from shooting off the pain feeling. Well, it's, yeah, it, it, blocks, it blocks the signals from my nerve endings saying that I am in pain. Right. So, um, um, so not only was she getting those signals sent and catching them and feeling like she's in pain, she was also going through withdrawals. Yeah. Um, so I mean, the medication works like antidepressants. You're not supposed to cold turkey them. They work on the neuroreceptors in your brain, just like antidepressants. So, um, it's not, it's right. not a grand time. <laughs> But yeah, so that's where we've been. She's Well, she's been in bed. I've been working. And working on a new podcast. Yeah. Be ready for that next week. So I'm almost back to 100%. I'm a little low-key still, but um, I'm here. So, I'm alive. with that being said, I am excited for this. We are continuing down right. King Crooked's flag, finally. Right. Um, Seems like there's always something that gets in the way of just finishing it up. Right. Uh, and I'm super excited about this song. It's called Still Regulating. Now, I have not heard the song, but name-wise, it definitely reminds me of Nate Dogg and Warren G's Regulators. Regulators. That's what it, yeah. Which, for those of you that do not know, Regulators was the song that introduced me to hip-hop. Oh, I didn't know that. And was also not just the first rap song, but probably the first radio song I ever memorized. Huh, I didn't know that. It's a good song. It's a damn um, good song, guys. Me and my one of my best friends at the time, I don't remember what his name was. We were little, little. Um, we would request it on the radio all the time. Um, and eventually, we just recorded it. Call-ins were a thing. We, we, we would call in, request it, and we finally got smart enough to just record it Hit onto it. a tape deck. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I used to do that. And you wait, and you wait, and you're sitting there by the you know record yep. button, just... And we'd play it and Non-stop. then rewind it, memorize it, play it, yeah. rewind it, play it. I always did uh, Nate Dogg's part. I, I did that with uh, Bloodhound Gang, part. Fire, Water, Burn. <laughs> and I still have most of the lyrics memorized. <laughs> so, regulators! <laughs> All right. Mount up. We're going to react to this if you guys have already seen it. <laughs> If you've not, please click the link in the description below. Hop on over, watch the video, leave a like, leave a sub. Definitely leave a sub. If you're not subbed to Crook, Definitely leave a sub. the fuck is wrong with you? Right. Um, he's in my top five. 
He's definitely in my top five. Um, and then come on back after you watch it. And we say it because depending on the crick we get depends on what kind of breakdown you're going to get. Right. If it's full of bars, it's going to be a long breakdown. There's going to be a lot of pauses. If it's not full of bars, there's, there's still going to be pauses. a few pauses. I, just be ready for pauses, guys. We talk. Right. That's what we do. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to slash it up and break it down. This is King Crooked with Still Regulating. Nice. Let's get it. Welcome to our world, y'all. Cobb World, C-O-B. This is yeah. an initiation, an invitation of sorts. Yo, Quay, felony low, queen called C-O-B. Fuck with me. 44 Magnum, got my pants sagging. Everybody know I'm from C-O-B. I ain't said tripping, Ooh. I'm just getting money. Gotta take my click to the T-O-P. Ghetto boy dreaming. Wait, so this has Earthquake and Felony Loke in it? I don't know if they're in it or if he's shouting them out. Okay, all right, nice. For the, If you guys have watched our channel, we have covered a couple songs from Felony Loke. We've covered quite a bit from Earthquake. From Earthquake, yeah. Um, a couple of the COB guys. Uh, Earthquake is from Texas. Right. I don't remember where Felony Loke's from. I don't remember right off the, off the top of my head, but um, that's awesome. But yeah. Trippin', I'm just getting money. Gotta take my click to the T.O.P. Get a boy dreaming, me and my team in. Trying to get a billion on G.O.P. Old school skating, I'm still regulating. R.I.P. Make B.O. Double G. Now bounce with a nigga, bounce with a... There yes! Nice. Rest in peace, Nate Dog, man. Definitely. I'm sad about that. He heavy, heavy loss in the game when he passed. He was amazing. Yeah. I'm still regulating R.I.P. Nate D.O. Double G Now bounce with a nigga Bounce with a nigga Microphone check One, two, let's get it West coast to death Most get ghost and left Don't hold your breath Crooked is on west One, two, let's get it D.O. Double G Now bounce with a nigga Bounce with a nigga Microphone check One, two, let's get it West coast to death Most get ghost and left West coast to death most West coast to death Most Most death Right as an artist he's doing a lot of shout outs which is amazing right. and and that hook was so bouncy it was great oh, i was not ready for this i mean i was <laughs> but i wasn't and here we are Nigga. microphone check one two let's get it west coast to death most get ghost and left don't hold your breath crooked it's so west with it yep. lbc baby we so crazy i give a new semen rocket some old navy city by the show line. <laughs> baby we so crazy i give a new semen rocket some old navy I give a new semen, semen. rock us a little navy navy some our old semen navy. but yeah old navy being the brand of old clothes navy, too but also navy blue yep bruh the old navy Which, was the thing when i was like baby blue is actually my favorite slate shade i don't know what i eighth or ninth grade. what it is that i like about the lighter shade of blue hmm. but it's so here's my thing my two favorite shades of blue are like baby blue and then really dark denimish blue right <laughs> you're like two extremes of the color well, it's like the two vehicles i want right are also two extremes i want a mini cooper but then i also want like a lincoln navigator so i mean I don't know. Right? Okay. Like pro line. Oh my, we so wavy. We so wavy. <laughs> Just by the shoreline. That's great. Hold on. Navy, city by the show line. A texturizer like pro line. Oh my. I text her. A new semen rocket, some old navy city by the show line. A texturizer like pro line. Oh my, we so. What is pro line? I've I heard it know. before. I've heard it. I, I know it's it's a bar, but I don't remember what pro line is. Let us know. Wavy, drip hard like a nigga need a bib when I. And then the wavy thing. I already um, tied it. They're on the shoreline and. Right. Yeah. Rise like pro line, oh my, we so wavy. Drip hard like a nigga need a bib. When I lead a crib, get the nine millimeter sick. Get... <laughs> Drip so hard like a dude need a bib. Bruh. Ah. Uh... Bruh. 
Messy eater. Bruh. <laughs> So wavy, drip hard like a nigga need a bib when I leave the crib. Get the nine millimeter sick. If I see the pigs, dash that. They can need a dick. Shorty need a big cash app. She don't need a gig. No, we gon' let the haters know we in our own. She needs a cash app. She don't need a gig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like this is one of the reasons I love Crook so much, man. He sneaks so much in there. <sighs> His so bars much. are just so insane. And they're so well constructed. And so well constructed. And, I mean, he, he definitely has his punches. They're like in your face. Right. But there's so many sneaky bars in there, too. Well, and most of them are at least doubles. At least. <sighs> need a dick, shorty, need a big cash app. She don't need a gig, no. We gon' let the haters know we in our own world. Own world. I seen you to Jamaica with your home girl. Facts. A down ass chicka get rewarded. Same nigga, say I'm tricking. Same nigga, can't afford it now. 44 Magnum, got my pants sagging. Everybody know I'm from COP. I ain't said tripping, I'm just getting money. Gotta take my click to the TOP. Let's get a boy dreaming. Me and my team in, trying to get a billion on GOP. Old oh, school skating, I'm still regulating. RIP, make D O double G out. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Old school drop top on 24. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Drop that toxic care for the whole. Now bounce with a nigga, <laughs> bounce with a nigga. Old school drop top on 24. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Drop that toxic care for the whole. Now stop. Don't nobody move. Where the fuck I put my lighter? In. Now stop. I like the blank space there. <laughs> like you're definitely bouncing along with it, and then you're like, what? <clears throat> right. Just make sure I got your attention. <laughs> Top on 24. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Drop that toxic jam for the home. Now stop. Don't nobody move. Where the fuck I put my lighter at? Crooked gotta smoke a whole cigar. Just I've been there. I, where did I put my lighter? Con you're constantly like that. So he has a habit of walking around, like pacing a lot. And he has to, like, move things as he does. So he'll move his lighter five different times during one cigarette and, and he's constantly looking for it. But every smoker knows, not not just cigarette smokers, just any smoker knows that when you are with friends that smoke, somebody is going to kipe your lighter. That's just, you need to keep your lighter like on your person or right. it's gone. And I'll end up with lighters. Like I don't do it intentionally. I will just pick them up. So it's okay. Don't nobody move where the fuck I put my lighter at. Crooked gotta smoke a whole cigar just to write a rap. Oh, there you go. Hold up. Hey, what up, my cop? Where the east side is at? They gentrifying the ghetto. It's time to buy it back. All that dope y'all slang in the hood. And you ain't got no motherfucking snaps on a mini mall. Oh, no. Pour it all a henny dog. Put on the suit. We about to go down to City Hall. Tell them motherfuckers that it's Long Beach or nothing. And if anything is moving through the city, we gon' get involved. Yeah. We all street conscious, okay. but sometimes a nigga just toxic. Okay. Don't blame me for how my mind works. Why not? I ain't the one who brainwashed it. 44 Magnum got my pants sagging. Everybody know I'm from COB. This is fucking fire. I really, uh, and guys, gentrification is a thing, and it's not a good thing. Like, it's pushing the people out that deserve and own this space. Like, sure, help initiatives to clean up, to rebuild, to whatnot, but the people that live there are the people that deserve to have better things. But it's their property. Right. You know? Don't push them out. That's that's not for the betterment of mankind. But I like how he said, don't blame me for how my mind works. I'm not the one that tried to brainwash it. Right. You know? Like... I wouldn't be thinking all of these crazy things, like, God, the way his mind works, you know? But, like, I wouldn't have thought all of this stuff if, if you guys hadn't pushed me to this point, you know? Right. That's great. <clears throat> 44 Magnum, got my pants sagging. Everybody know I'm from COP. I ain't said tripping, I'm just getting money. Gotta take my click to the TOP. Let's get a boy dreaming. Me and my team in, trying to get a billion on GOP. Old school 
still skating, I'm still regulating. R.I.P. Nate, D.O. Double G. Now bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Old school drop top, old 24s. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Drop that toxic jam for the whole. Now bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Old school drop top, old 24s. Bounce with a nigga, bounce with a nigga. Drop that toxic jam for the hoes. Yeah. Hey, put your COB flag in the air. Hold it up in the air. Yeah, keep it right there, just like that. On the count of three, we gon' turn this bitch all the way up, all right? One, two, three, let <laughs> I would Is love. Is that from a live? Is that live from a concert? Yeah. I would love to go see him in concert. Oh hell yeah, that would be amazing. After quarantine, we'll have to. I'm gonna need backstage passes real quick so I can come meet you, man. Hell yeah. I'm gonna need a black and white bandana, guys. We do have a cob bandana, but it's camouflage, and it's somewhere. I mean, we have it. And I would have waved it for when he said, put your flags up. But yeah, I was honestly, looking around. I couldn't find it. I want a black and white one. So, yeah. I need that was fun. to reorder that COB hat. Yeah, you do. It disappeared somewhere. Hopefully someone is enjoying it. Right. Whoever. Whoever's doorstep it ended up at. <clears throat> right, right. Um, Crook killed that. He always does. He always does. It's not a, not a surprise, but it was definitely an enjoyable song. And I, I love the bounce in it. He's had a lot of serious ones in Flag, and they've been incredible and emotional. But this one, I just, I like the, the bounce too. I was going to say, earlier, earlier in this EP, her and I had back-to-back -back songs where one of us almost cried. True. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of just, I mean, this has just been a fantastic EP so far. And it's a got, wonderful like, collection. I think we've still got like two or three more songs left. Okay. It's a really nice collection. Just, you know, runs the gamut in terms of I know we still haven't sounds. gotten to the song where he shouts out uh, Tiptoe yet. Cool. All right. I'm looking forward to that. I think it might be the next one. Okay. All right. Well, we got Quake and uh, uh, Loke in this one. So that's cool. Right. That's very cool. Got a lot of love for Both all the people COB in COB. in general. Period. Yes. Um, but yes. Yeah, so... Fantastic track, you guys. Again, make sure you go sub to Crook's Corner. Follow him on Spotify. Like, if you're not listening to Crook, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You don't know what you're doing with you your life. You don't know what you're doing yeah. with your life. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's just <laughs> obvious fact. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, comment down below what did you think of King Crooked with Still Regulating. It was incredible. Yeah. Also, comment down below if there's anything else that you guys would like to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter, if you want a quicker response. And with that being said, we love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see depraved people later. Peace.